Hello, Hello Floss Floss Tube. Tube. I'm Victoria and this is my mom Chris. Welcome. And we are Stitchy Fix. Welcome back. Thank if you, you have subscribed, uh, we are here for a weekly chit chat about cross stitch. Just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. And today, we don't have that much progress. <laughs> yeah. Life interrupted this yeah, week. Yeah, so <clears throat> we've had some exciting life this past week. Um, today is my husband's birthday, so trying to do that and stay quarantined is always interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but we got to do some Etsy shopping. My little girl got her daddy, I got him, uh, a book with her name in it that like she wrote to him. It's cute. She's like two months old, so you know, it's the sentiment. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we got new couches. Uh, we recently bought a house this year. so. We finally have the last couch furniture that I think we're gonna get, um, which got delivered today. So happy birthday to him. <laughs> yeah, and as they're getting stuff in, we're hauling stuff out because we are going to start a basement remodel. Or it's probably a basement finish because it's unfinished. Um, so it's bas there's nothing to remodel, it just needs to be finished in the basement. So we literally called 1-800-GOT-JUNK and literally, I told the guys it was more than one truck. It was two trucks full. <laughs> and they still didn't even get everything. And there's so, still stuff. <laughs> there's still stuff. Stuff's going to donations and things like that. So that was, uh, that's just crazy. There's just so much work after we've been in our home here 25 years. And when you know that you've still saved the paint that the prior owner used that you haven't seen in 25 years, uh, you know, it's pretty messy down there. Um, but it's exciting because we're committed. That's the big thing. <laughs> now everything's been pulled off the walls. So, yeah, so it's, it's, no it's, it's got to get done. And of course the motivation is that uh, we want a nice finished space so that the grandbabies can feel at home and have space to be safe and, and play. clean and, and play and things like that. And so we can play and things like that <laughs> in a clean space. Um, it's all good, but one of the best things that I had to share with you guys here um, is the treasures. I think in our first video, I mentioned who who taught, taught me you. how to cross stitch, and that was my mom's cousin Kitty. Well, that was many moons ago, and I found that I saved and I will save the first cross stitch that she did for me um, and had framed. Because in the mid 70s, late mid to late 70s, um, I was very inspired to share um, smiles with everybody. And um, Kitty, um, so we called her Kitty, but her name was Catherine. So I found this cross stitch that she obviously did on linen, where she said, "Smile, God loves you." And that used that phrase used to be associated with me. Any of my friends who are watching have known me since I was a late teen. They will know that. Um, and this is just a treasure. And what I love about it is the generation. So, Kitty was born in 1917. So, Over that's hundred years ago, <laughs> right? That's a legacy that that I've passed on to Victoria, and mm -hmm. um, it's just really cool to have this memento. Plus. Um, I love that it, she did date and sign her work and you can see right there in her beautiful handwriting that says lovingly presented to Christine, Kitty and Earl Graff, because her husband did the finishing on the back to, to finish this project. Um, they never had kids. So my brother and I were like their kids and uh, that's a very special relationship. And, and that's why we are we're here today, right? Because yeah. we cross stitch. Yep. So I found that one. So a little journey through the 80s. Okay? <laughs> the 80s, very inspired, loving my husband. If you've been doing this for a while, you may have seen this. This was probably a kit from the Stitchery catalog, which I've been subscribing to for way too long. And this I gifted to my husband. It's some um, 80s kind of event. <laughs> His birthday, Father's Day, something like that. Actually, not Father's Day. It anniversary have, maybe? It might have been anniversary or birthday. And then, somewhere in the late 80s, I had the first person other than um, Kitty who gifted me a kit. And it was a, a, a work associate, Michelle, when I worked 
in the city. I just never forget it because I, I was know, so, so tickled crazy. that we were talking cross stitch at one point and then for a gift for Christmas she gave me a very small kit which I of course did get finished and professionally framed and I'm very proud of this and I have no idea uh, when you did it? When I did it. I know it was when I worked downtown so it was like early 90s. Yeah, at least 20 years ago. At least 20 years ago. And um, I did a really nice job on this. And when you can see, I, if you can see up close, the frame, look at this, I'm stepping up like other people do, is is notched like the, the branches in the design. So it looks really good. I mean, it's not my design type now with the brown frames, but maybe it could be re reframed to do something different. Well, and then Victoria came along in the late 80s. <laughs> Very, the latest you could the be. The latest The latest 80s. you could be in the 80s, Victoria <laughs> King. Um, instead of a traditional birth sampler, I did this for Victoria. And that was obviously counting the numbers. And I think we're going to get this reframed and put up for the kids in the room we made here for their nursery. And I'm just so excited because it's Victoria's tradition. This is what I did for her. And then, if anybody knew Victoria when she was born, she, she came, came out, out with smiling. a smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recall this. <laughs> she did. I guarantee, like, when in doubt, she would smile. So I absolutely enjoyed creating this for her. And I painted this frame to go with the decor in her bedroom at the time. And it truly is a treasure. Okay, so now I'm going to disclose something really funny. So now that we're on this side of the equation. Most of these, except for that one that I mentioned was professionally framed. Look at the pitiful framing job. Black duct tape <laughs> coming apart, okay? I mean, it didn't exactly fit. So um, we are probably going to repurpose this frame and do something fun with it for the kids as well. Maybe a big pillow or something like that in yeah. the room. And then one more Victoria story. So, um, given that Victoria was born at the very end <laughs> of a year, like the very, very end of a year, <laughs> one, I don't know what book in Harry Potter was out at the time that you wanted. Book one? No. I don't know. Like what book you, four? Ten? Was I ten? You were ten. Oh, it would have been like two or three. Okay. So yeah. we are big Harry Potter fans. Victoria's 10th birthday, we celebrated with my brother and his wife in Cape May, New Jersey. I mean, the best place to go in the winter is to the Jersey Shore and make memories. Well, Victoria got from um, her aunt uh, one of the Harry Potter books, whichever one was appropriate at the time. And I just wanted, to, it was just an amazing, we rented a house. Mm -hmm. a, it little, was, yeah. a little house and it was just an incredible, it wasn't even a full week. Mm -mm, just a couple days. But we, Jersey Shore holds a, a, a treasure, a place in our hearts. Right, we from used to vacation go there. there. My brother and I grew up vacationing there. We, as a family, um, vacationed out. there. Mm -hmm. So I found the Cape. I found a cross stitch on one of those snowy dates when we went shopping, of the Cape May uh, lighthouse, and I cross stitched it. Again, I cross stitched this. I I framed this. Okay, I'm gonna get really close. Can anybody see? Like it doesn't <laughs> even fit in the frame. So again, with what we've learned over the last 20 years, maybe I'll improve it, but it is so cool to be part of the legacy, and yeah. it's a history, and I can tell these stories to you. Sophia, she'll love them. Yeah. So, that's our pers my personal excuse for the why we didn't get a lot of Why we didn't get a lot of stitching done, but it was anyway. fun, yeah. No, we, I we hope you enjoyed our little story. Yeah. Um, and I didn't get a lot of stitching done either, but I did finish, I'll just, since you were showing finishes, um, uh, fully finish the polar bears. Yay! Yay! So this is going to go on my nephew's, um, wall in his nursery. I'll just move a little bit closer. So I just did a hoop and I painted it white and then I just used the sticky felt to back it. That's the way I do it. I'm not very professional in it all, but. It holds it together and it'll be cute and she's gonna just She does. Add she's it got to a the place wall. for it already. She yes. showed us the wall with the location. Yes. This is where the polar bear's going. So yeah. That was fun. So my so January's done and we finished Christmas week, but I really wanted um, my whip go goal was to get the lettering done on my um, Christmas means more pattern, which is this pattern by Heart and Hand. 
and I wanted to get the lettering done and the green. So I uh, I work in color blocks, which is kind of how you taught mm -hmm. me to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't I guess I don't always do that, but for patterns like this where you can kind of finish up small sections because they're already color blocked, I like to work in colors. So I finished. Back looks great, <laughs> uh, yes. except for. There's like a tiny couple scatterings of green in a Christmas tree, but I got all the green done and the lettering. So those were my two WIPCO um, goals because on all the even numbers I'm doing Christmas and the odd numbers I'm filling in with other stuff. So there was two Yay. evens for January. And you know what numbers were pulled? Yes, numbers uh, 4 and 20 were pulled for February. So that'll be two more colors basically on this one. Wow, that's fair. <laughs> Is that fair? I don't, I don't know. know. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but that's all I got done this week. But it was actually nice to stitch the green block because, um, like, I can nurse my baby and then she'll fall asleep and I can, like, stitch over her head when I don't have to, like, read a pattern because it was just one block and I already had the lettering done. I didn't have to, like, count. Right. Whereas like now yeah. if I go on to another color, I will have to count. <laughs> so that'll have to be like when she's when napping focused, right? or, yeah, we're working on longer stretches of sleep at night. So any advice out there, any stitching mommies? I know Jessie Marie does stuff, just had her baby too, mm -hmm. who did the whip go and she's like three weeks old. The oh. baby. <laughs> yeah. And what? she's making progress. She's like posting stitchy progress, but that's okay. You are too. Yes, yes. the progress. It's, it's more progress. than my progress this week. Okay. I'd add zero done on this one. So Chris has some works in progress. Very small. So I have. I always have great expectations and you have good hopes. Yeah. I have high hopes. And then I decided on you know pulling the basement apart. It's really, <laughs> it really takes a lot of time. It does. It does. Um, so I. The only things that I worked on this week are January typography, and. I did pick it up like after I was working in the basement for a while. Mm -hmm. So I have made myself a mess. For those of a you tiny. who know, it's it's a tiny mess, but it's made a lot of mess. It's a tiny mistake that ended up in this design being a problem. So those of you who have done this design, I'm gonna hold up close. Do you see that the mittens have two rows of green? Well, it's supposed to, the top one. <laughs> And there, alas, the bottom one only has one. Well, I was all done this mitten, and then I noticed about this mitten. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not taking all that black out, so I'll just fix, I'll just adapt. <laughs> and so, continue to adapt and adapt. Right, so I adapted from bottom up to make sure the bottom would line up. I had to shorten the B because I was running into, whatever that letter is over there, the Y. Yeah. Well then, alas, when I go over here to do the snowman and then the sled, where's the picture? See the sled, sled, there you are. The little um, rails of the sled started bumping into the Y of January with my adaptation. So then I had to frog out the black. And look, you can see traces of black frogging. I'm like, oh my gosh. One of the easiest charts that I've ever tried and I'm messing it up. <laughs> no, and this is the thing, like I am in the same mentality. I will not go back and frog things if I can fudge it. You know, in its but this art. Had consequences. Yeah, the, but I, it would it take it took me too long it took me longer to take out two rails of messed up to just fix the mitten in the first I place. I could have fixed the mitten in the first place. But like I said, <laughs> it's art. It's art. So, so that's, you don't have to care, and it's a hobby, so you don't have to care. So that's all that I got done. <laughs> and but story. she did successfully go shopping. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes when you get frustrated frogging, you must go onto your phone and start shopping. Some things I ordered ahead of time, but I did have get a few things that I'd love to share with you because I love haul. We look because we enable each other. We enable each other, and then floss tube enables us. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, Priscilla and Chelsea coming out with cute designs every single week. It's dangerous. It is dangerous. We and have Bunny Bakery pre-ordered, right? Yes, Bunny Bakery is pre-ordered. <laughs> I'm very excited about Bunny Bakery yes. only because we call we've we've called my baby since we knew she was coming Bean Bunny. 
which is the Muppets Bean Bunny. Yeah, from Muppets Christmas Carol, which is like our one favorite movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we so might we call Disney her Bean Harry Bunny Buddy and Muppets. Yeah. Okay. So, so anything with bunnies now, and they're so cute. I mean, they are so, so cute. cute. And they're on a pedestal. I know. A I pedestal. love that pedestal. I love the mixing bowls because Victoria oh, loves to bake. Victoria loves to bake. I'm so an the excellent thing is, baker. Yes, you are. That's one thing that I have always gotten compliments. I used to send, I don't know if my husband wants me to share this story. <laughs> You can go to anyway. But I would bake, so I made a goal in the summer, because I'm a teacher, so I need schedule, I need something to look forward to. So I baked a new cookie batch, like a new cookie recipe or sweets recipe every week of the summer, and I would make him commute to the city with the cookies, because if they stayed in my house, I would eat them. So he would carry this giant Tupperware of cookies <laughs> onto the train into the city, which everyone loved the cookies and would like DM me on Instagram and everything, but he wouldn't want to take them because he said he felt like a turtle. <laughs> a <laughs> with his, turtle? With his oh, Tupperware on his back. back. <laughs> and I was like, well, everybody wants the cookies, so yeah. suck it up. <laughs> But yes, I do love baking, yeah. so that's why we really like the Bunny Bakery, for multiple reasons. Yes, so we did pre-order that. But then, so my mother, another mother story. Another mother. Another mother story, um, FaceTimed her this weekend, which is the end of January, and as you know, I've been, well, yeah, you've seen a couple of them, the What's in My Cup, I keep changing for her, like every couple of weeks. Yeah. And the caregiver, asked me, oh, I bet you're going to be getting a surprise this week soon because it's oh. February. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Pressure. pressure. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to do the small bee mine. That it has like the little flower on it, right? Yeah, it has the beehive on uh -huh. it. Yeah. So um, it's not the what's in my cup because I'm, I'm tired of filling in white cups, but I love the designs. I didn't say I don't, but but anyway, something different for Valentine's Day, and the fact that now I'm under pressure that the expectation is there, um, that does motivate me. That's what keeps me motivated for doing things for somebody else. And it's nice, like once a month, you have a small finish, too, at least. Yes, it, at minimum. So because, as you saw in our first video, one thing done, ten things do. So let's see the goods. Okay, well first I want to show you something that's going to be a gift, and if she's watching, she'll know it's for her, so that's okay, because she's going to get it Saturday anyway. So, <laughs> I, this is a dot dot goose design, oh my gosh, are so you not in cute. love with this? I mean, this is um, a relative of ours who has picked up cross-stitching since they, she has seen Victoria's and My Passion, and now we get to share it with her, which is absolutely amazing. I love you, you know who. And then, so her surprise, I can't, it's just like giving a purse. You know how like when you give somebody a purse, you're not supposed to give it empty. You have to put money in it. No, I did not know that. That is a rule. Oh, well, <laughs> I think okay. I've been missing out on some cash. No, if I've given you one, you got money in it. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. So you can't give a project bag to a new stitcher without a project. No. Those of us who have multiple projects, we don't we have We can to, accept an empty can, project right. bag. <laughs> but not to a new stitcher. And she loves sunflowers, so I can't wait till she sees this because she's going to be crazy for it. So I found on Etsy. I found. Victoria found. Victoria found. <laughs> okay. Um, this design, which says it is from My Lovely Cross Stitch. And I just, and so what I will do for her is I will get her the fabric and the floss. I will kit the floss, put this in the bag, wrap it up, and give it to her so she can open it. But she already had her birthday, but she knows it's coming. But, yes. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, Dot Dot Goose, I love your designs. And I saw that you have these still available. So if somebody wants the same design, it's still out there on Etsy. At least Go it was. now. Hurry. <laughs> at least it was on Tuesday. <laughs> yes. So then, uh, what else? Oh yes, so uh, what else did I get? Because I got those for you. Yeah, I'm talking about that for you, you talk about them. So I'm in the fabric of the month with these that are my favorite shot. hoops. We'll put the link on them. Mom bought these for me, Amazon. Yes, yeah, she likes the tension hoops. Tension hoops. And now that she's got more projects going, mm. I keep a hoop in, in a project. The, I mean, not maybe on the fabric, but so in the when, bag. when you move it around, you've got it. So that's why she needed that. And then um, we got this Needed. program 
Um, but she got she got a gift for having a baby. It's a new thing. I didn't know that existed. She got exists for having a baby, which was a a really latest model iPad, right? Oh, yeah. A push present. That's what it's called. Oh, a push present. Because I pushed a baby out. I didn't <laughs> ask for an iPad. I just want to clarify that. My husband got me himself a push present of an iPad. Correct. But Victoria offered because I don't have a current iPad. Yes. Um, and we have a friend, Wander on Words. Um, Colleen. Colleen is her name. So if you go to see wanderonwords.com, you we'll will put a link for it. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah. So she does, uh, she does fabulous artwork using words. Yeah. So um, she did, I commissioned her to do a prayer that our family has passed down for generations. Um, that ultimately I would love to cross stitch one for Sophia, one for Colin, but I need the technology to be able to read her graphic that she sent me. And so, uh, that's going to be one of our projects this year is getting, getting that image Art. into yeah. a cross stitch design. Um, and so thank you, Colleen, for your artwork and, um, thank you, Victoria, because she's going to use her I'm technology figure to figure out, out how, how to do, do it. it. <laughs> I was just saying, I'm in the Fat Quarter Shop, eight o'clock, month of the Ada. Month of, of the Ada. Yeah, every month, eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a very practical Icelandic gray. Thank you so much. That's a nice neutral. Yes. You could really go any direction with that. Do you know what this reminds me of? Chantilly. Oh, yes. Trace. Yes, it does. That, yeah. yeah, that would be great. So I'm also in the Fat Quarter Shop Snapshot Club which I just got my January, which is great. I, I understand everything is delayed because of the COVID nonsense. But I'm really excited to get it started because I think this is just about the cutest thing that they all look like little photographs in here. So that's really fun. I love getting surprises that I ordered a while ago. <laughs> I, I love getting the things I bought. <laughs> that's my favorite thing. I okay. love when I get the wait, things wait, wait. I bought. I just spent thousands of dollars to get rid of junk in the basement. Yeah. And today, a new, just a small sewing table shirt. <laughs> for the basement. So she just paid to get stuff taken out and she's paying to get stuff put in. Well, I'll yeah, put in the basement, but it's gonna have to be up here so I can use it. All right, so I have one more piece of haul, and that is a pic piece of Picture This Plus. I just wanted to really see, um, try picking out for myself, because the other Picture This Plus I'm doing, I got help from our, our LNS for my um, letters to Hogwarts. So this is Arbor. 14 count hand dyed marbled Ada from everythingcrossstitch.com and it's a picture of this plus and it's hard to kind of see in this room because it's kind of like the, the color of the walls. It's a really, um, it's, it's like a light pink or probably could go peach depending on how you look at it. And the modeling looks like it's a dark green. So I'm thinking it would be amazing if um, I had a really interesting strong like flower floral. pattern, floral pattern to put on it. Um, you know, if you guys have any suggestions about what might be a really cool pattern on, on the color like this, because it is outside of my normal box. Like, I, I get neutrals, but I would love something that could really make a color like this pop. As you can see in here, we have lots of floral designs. So that's all the haul that's for this it. week. Just small. Not that there's not stuff on order. <laughs> but we'll talk about that next time. When it arrives. When it arrives. Yeah. Um, and I did want to say what my whip go was. So you yep. said the numbers are 20 and 4 for February. And Victoria knows she's doing double Christmas duty. Double Christmas. So my 20 and 4 is, one of them is uh, cross stitch something with words. So. That January works. January would qualify. But if, if I could, wanted. if I get February type typography before the end of the month. I'd say it. I would count that. And then the other is, which is huge, is to finish a chapter on my Hogwarts letters. Hmm. The They're banner. really big. They're really big. The banner, the, the banner is solid. Oh, I should have brought my, anyway. I'm not totally committed <laughs> to which chapter I'm going to finish. <laughs> but alas, I will attempt one of them. There you go. There you go. All right. We want to say thank you for all the comments. Um, we are getting back to them. Oh, yes. Thank you for the reads oh. about the Rick Rack. Yes. Oh. Helen D. has a video on Rick Rack. So, thank you. That was you. really clear. Very clear. 
And that was helpful. It was very next, helpful. For the next Rick Rack experience. Maybe I'll add Rick Rack to Grandmoms. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But because we will be here next yes. week, hopefully with more stitchy progress. Oh, yes. We've got maybe an update on the basement project. Maybe an update. Maybe we'll have a next step by that point. Yeah. For the might. basement. We might. That'd be exciting. You should show, well, we could do a little clip at some point of what you're oh, the before and sewing. After? The sewing area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I do, I use, I do sew a lot. Costume um, to like, I don't know, 40 plus shows probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hundreds yeah. of pieces. Yeah. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah. Hundred, anyway, I should say hundreds per show. Yes. It was easily hundreds Pieces. per show. Yeah. 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 Between community theater and high school for the last 25 years. And then and all the other odds and ends. And camp. And Who needs a Halloween <laughs> costume? <laughs> it's right. Who needs to like do a skit for something? <laughs> Call on Chris. It's She's a, here yeah. for you. And now it's switched to making masks for my employees. It's 70 employees? 80 yeah. employees? 90? 90. 90. Just a few. Not all of them wear the cute masks I wear. The butchers <laughs> don't wear. They're not looking for the cutesy patterns. No. But in any case. But we did watch a good YouTube on how, because I typically wear glasses, but the, a YouTube for no, the fogging. A, yeah, it's a go-to, and it's also got multiple layers. So because I work actually in the um, in the grocery industry, um, my, we are frontline workers, and yeah. we go by all the CDC regulations. So ours are multiple level. Um, mass. Yeah. Anyway, that's an aside. We want you all to stay safe and well. Yes. So it's pretty a non-impact <gasps> thing to wear a mask. I'm it is. Saying. It's pretty easy. It's fine. Also, we forgot the big news. What? Debbie and Keth. <gasps> oh, thank Shut you so much. Shut it out. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. We love thank you, Snug so Harbor Crafts. We, <laughs> we just love thank you. Thank you so much. And anybody else that wants to give us a shout out. We oh, thank you. We thank you. Oh my gosh. We died. I was dead on the floor. Dead was, on the floor. I was like, I, I like put it on the big TV. Jam, <laughs> my husband, you gotta see this. We're, we're just, famous. <laughs> you know, and oh. we just, you know. We just, we were just tickled. Tickled we pink. Were, and we're, we're so excited because they, big inspiration for yeah. why we are doing this. We well, have a mother and daughter. Priscilla and Chelsea too. Yeah, we love all the mother daughters. Yeah, and, and Steph, Steph and Pam. Pam. Yeah, I yeah, mean, those are just stitching. We, we enjoy it because, I don't know. It's just enjoyable. It's fun, it's fun to see that yeah. all of you out there get along with, you know, like you have this camaraderie and common, common hobby yes. together. And we do, but we, you know, until we discovered you guys, we thought we were just us, you know? Yeah. I like literally wouldn't tell people I cross stitch because I'm like, oh, it's just like what grandmas do. But like, I feel like it's trendy now. It's more trendy. And it doesn't matter because it keeps you sane. It's there. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We can be who we are. We can be who we are. We can anyway, be. All we've, right. ta we've talked your ear off today <laughs> with very little stitching. With Notice very how little good stitching. we cover for that? Yeah. So next week, we'll make it a goal <laughs> to show you more stitching stuff. And we hope that you get as much stitching yes. or as little stitching as you want. Yes. Come, Just because have it's what you okay. Want. Yeah. And anyone who knows me will know, wow, where's where's the real Chris? <laughs> With the goals <laughs> and the, the checklist. I'm taking that out on the basement. Yes. I have Major my list, my checklist. punch list. Yeah. If you've ever worked with me costuming a show, there's graph paper and lists and more lists than graph paper. So it's true. It's very true. But we hope you have the stitchiest week yeah, and we fun. hope you got a little stitchy fix in today. Yeah, and don't forget, comment, ask, tell me some good patterns for this. I would really enjoy that. Cute florals that look good on Ada. I feel like some florals look better on linen. Right. Because Whereas, they're so big. This, yeah, on this piece of fabric specifically, 14 count Arbor Ada. Ada. So if you have to go Google that to see the color. Oh, do some <laughs> Just don't even just, just chat with us. Go chat back. It's all good. <laughs> all right. <laughs>